When you want to do custom routes, you have a few options here. In settings, this is a uh, Drive Smart, by the way, Drive Smart 50, but this also works in the 55 and the 65 and the newer ones and such. In the navigation section, you've got avoidances that's been around since the early days of Garmin. And then you also have in the newer ones, uh, custom avoidances, which has been around, actually, not, <laughs> it's been around for a while, like 10 years or so. I've tried using this before and it, eh, really doesn't work, but I'll, I'll show you a different one. Now, when you go to establish a route to a new place, so, for example, let's just do a major attraction. Uh, what's a good one? Oh, wait, those are all really far away. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a good one. Now, you have the ability to choose ordinarily two routes. The first one will be the fastest route, and the second one usually avoids the highways. So, we've got the first one. You see there, the purple one. And then you got the second one, which is the blue one. And it gives you its best guess as to uh, how much, as you see over here, how much time and distance it will take to get there. So even though this one is only 16 miles compared to 19 miles, it will actually take slightly longer to get there because it uses fewer highways. But is there a third option? Well, in fact, there is, if you know how to do it. If I do the first one here. Now I'm going to go ahead and simulate. What you can do is that you'll ordinarily, if you touch the top bar, you're going to see all the directions here. And you can view the map if you want to, to give you a general overview of where you're going. But if you have change route configured from your little bar down here, uh, or alternatively, is it under settings? I don't think it is. Let me see if there's a different way to get to it. I don't believe so. You pretty much have to have this menu down here, have change route. This used to be called detour. But anyway, so now if you, you can have change route configured either from here or if I went to the settings and I believe it's under navigation. Is it? Maybe not. Map and vehicle? Yeah, map tools. So this is it's the same menu, just in a different spot. So I have change route which formerly known as detour. Okay, so when you do detour, this is a function that is in the Drive Smart and the Drive Assist and the newer Drive 55s and 65s is when I go to change route, if you scroll down, there's detour by road. This is nice because, now I'll show the distance one first. This is going to be a little confusing at first, but bear with me. Once you know how to use this feature, this is amazingly good. So again, we went avoid upcoming distance. So you have half a mile up to 10 miles. And what it means is that from where you currently are, it will avoid the route up to this predetermined distance. So if I do avoid the net now, right now, shows me as being on uh, John Carpenter. So if I say, well, I want to get out of this, okay? I don't want to be in this road for the next one mile. And it will calculate how to avoid this road for the next one mile. take a second okay so see what it did there it's going to take me off of John Carpenter elsewhere 
and it's going to put me onto uh, Grolier Road and then back should get me back onto it oh no actually yeah got me on a different route into let's, let's take a look at the map yeah okay so up here it's roughly the same route but it's avoiding that road for the next one mile and it's going to get me back on track now the different one here is avoid by road detour by road now what it's going to show you here now this is this is great it gives you the names of all the roads you're going to take on route to your destination and you can just choose which one you don't want to take and it will route you around it so let's just say that Groyo road I, won't, I don't want to take that Get a, go around that and be like yeah select a detour and it'll avoid it that's cool. and it's on the fly which is cool now you really shouldn't do this while driving of course don't do that if you're at a uh, stoplight or something or if you pull over to do this that's actually the smart way to do it doing this please don't do this while driving you may be tempted to please do not don't get into an accident that would be bad now you'll see what it's doing here it's going to flip me around put me back on the john carpenter again just because that's the closest road I was near to get away from Grolier. It's doing a uh, very tight U-turn there. And, okay. So, if I go look at the directions now, you'll notice Grolier's not in there. That is cool. So, how is this... How, how is this good for you? Well... More often than not, when you are creating a custom route to somewhere, you will take initially what the Garmin gives you. And then what you can do is that you can go and review, sorry, review what roads it's going to take and say, and if you spot one in here, you're like, no, 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 I don't want to take that road. You can just go to your change route detour by road and say okay find the one you don't want to take and just hit it and it will avoid the road that's just nice now I, I gotta say that this is far easier than having to go into settings and then navigation and then custom avoidances yeah you can set custom avoidances to avoid areas and certain roads and things like that I uh, this is largely hit or miss but what works a treat pretty much every time is uh, when you go to change route and you just detour by road. That's it, it, it totally works. Uh, I've never seen it fail. Sometimes I've seen it put me on routes that are questionable, I'll admit, because it's calculating the best that it can. But I find it just much easier easier overall to say okay it's it's so much easier than trying to do a custom route this is a way of doing a custom route actually so the next time you go anywhere um hit the detour function and then detour by road and just see what's there and you can try it uh, even before even while parked you can just say okay and hit the detours that you want and yes you can do multiple detours so if you see things in the list where it's like okay i got rid of one but then i see this other road i don't want to go on detour that and then if there's another one detour that detour that you can do it in as many times as you need to before you get the route that you want and i did think that's cool it's a very underrated feature of this it's um i personally think it's much easier and, and more quick than trying to do drag and drop with a phone now yeah you can do drag and drop routes with a phone whatever and yeah that kind of works but this absolutely works